Welcome to the Bug Labs platform demonstration. Today we'll be using two products to quickly build an Internet of Things application. The first is Dweet and next is Freeboard. Dweet is ridiculously simple messaging for the Internet of Things. It's fast, it's free, and it's easy to use. It doesn't require any setup or sign up, just publish and go. This is an interactive demonstration, so please Take out your smartphones, open a browser, and navigate to Dweet.io. Once there, please click the Try It Now button. Once you click that button, you'll see this white box appear. It may include tilt, latitude and longitude, and if you're on a computer, in my case, mouse X and Y. As you see, as I move my mouse across the screen, that data will change. On a smartphone, as you move your smartphone around, this data will change. You'll need to have location services turned on in order to see your latitude and longitude. Below this box, you'll see a URL, dweet.io slash follow slash painstaking decision. In this case, a random word generator created this name for my device. You can go ahead and tweet and share your thing name and your device and have your followers follow along. If you navigate to dweet.io slash follow, you can enter a thing name such as Hospitable Knife, which is my cell phone. And you can see as I move my phone around, the tilt X, Y, and Z will change. I also show latitude and longitude. Next, we'll use Freeboard to visualize this data. Freeboard.io is ridiculously simple dashboards for your devices. It's simple, affordable, it's production ready, and it's open source. We'll go ahead and start by entering a name for our Freeboard. In this case, demo. As you create a new freeboard, you're given a blank canvas. From this blank canvas, you'll add data sources. You can add as many data sources as you like. Data sources can be devices, they can be APIs, they can be JSON, they can, you can even use RTX or Renaissance development boards. We've added a Yahoo Weather API as well. In this case, we're using Dweet.io as our data source. I'll name my thing phone, add my thing name, and click Save. You can see where this was last updated. Right now, my phone went in sleep mode. If I open it back up, we can see the data updates every second in real time. Here we'll add a pane, and these panes are also dynamic. You can move them around and place them wherever you like in the screen. From here we'll add widgets. Our off-the-shelf widgets include Google Map, HTML, Picture, Text, Gauge, Sparkline, Pointer, Indicator Light. Today we'll use a Google Map to show our location. Here we need to add latitude and longitude from one of our data sources. If I add a data source, phone is automatically populated as would any other data source that we've added. As soon as I click on phone, my device statistics are popped up. Tilt, X, Y, Z, latitude and longitude. I'll click on latitude here. Do the same for longitude. As soon as I click Save, the Google Map will appear, pinpointing my location. In the northeast of Pennsylvania, near the Delaware Water Gap Recreational Area. We can also add other panes and other widgets. Here I'll select a text We'll call this x-axis. 
and I'll get my data. I'll include a sparkline for some small historical information. And now when I move my phone around, you can see this data changing, as well as the sparkline populate with different information. As mentioned before, these panes are dynamic, can be moved around in real time. Now from Freeboard, you can also share this URL, this unique URL. You copy and paste the URL or simply tweet it. Once you share, you're welcome to go ahead and copy this Freeboard or clone it. And if you want to add your own widgets, you can do so from the developer console. Here you would add various plugins, and to learn how to build plugins, you can visit this URL here. You can create your own plugins, you can create your own widgets. By creating your own plugins and widgets, your dashboard can be customized and unique. Here we'll show you a couple dashboards that we've created with some live data. In this case, we're using the playback widget. We created a device, and paired it with a smartphone, and then rode around San Francisco on a bicycle. We're mapping not only location, but air quality statistics as we ride. We pair that with local temperatures, humidity, and wind. In another case, we've created a dashboard for the world's first small batch continuous distillery. It runs 24-7 and even includes uh, updating webcam. You can see temperatures, including changes in pressures, all in real time. Thank you for listening.